Well, it's just the sand. Sand. You talk about sand and boobs. Yeah, and it's I'm, my fault. And I'm I thinking know, about where I was last week. Yeah, That's it's all. It's my fault. Right? Looking at boobs with my feet in the sand. It's entirely plausible. It is. <laughs> You know, there's a certain amount of adult content in the world of video games. And by adult, I mean shooting people in the face. Murdering crowds of people with carefully placed explosives. Chopping people in half with chainsaws. You know the old guys would be animating this as you're talking. Well, you just see how you animate blowing people in a crowd, but you actually didn't kill them. Murdering people It's quite difficult to express though, isn't it, really? <laughs> and boobs. Oh no, wait, no, that's where we draw the line. Boobs. I've been away for a whole week and this is the first video you got for me. Boobs, my kind of topic. He's back! <laughs> Steam does not like boobs. Well, actually, no. Some boobs are okay. Like massive, massive exposed boobs. We all know they're fine. Cover them in water if you want. Make them bounce around. It's cool. Everyone's having fun. But if you dare start showing any nipple, you're in trouble. Valve seems to have a line in the sand when it comes to sex-related games on its PC gaming platform, Steam. Talking about line in the sand, I was on the beach in Spain the other day. And, you know, it ties in with the boobs thing because, you know, boobs are, boobs are allowed on the beach. When I say allowed, it's, it's encouraged, especially by me. There's a boob ad lip in the boob video. <laughs> <laughs> Spent a whole week on a beach in Spain. Boobs. Yeah, yeah. What do you expect? I didn't believe him. I didn't believe him. <laughs> You've all missed me. Steam is chocked full of the most violent, debauched, depraved games around. But still, Valve seems to get uneasy when it comes to sexual content. Or at least sexual content that suddenly becomes very popular. Last month, the game House Party, a party simulator that saw players trying to create sexual encounters in, you guessed it, a house party, was pulled from Steam. Crucially, it had elements of blackmail in there, which we can all agree it's pretty f***ing bad. It climbed Steam's top sellers charts in just days before it was removed by Valve for the inclusion of pornographic content. And now Valve is at it again, this time with the game Strangers in a Strange Land, a point and click puzzle game where a college student basically does his best to try and watch people having sex. The main complaint, or so some Steam users believe, is that the game's protagonist, Billy, was intended to be underage. The game was pulled down from Steam a couple of weeks ago, but now it's re-emerged with one pretty huge difference. Whenever the player enters any scene with sexual content now, most of that scene is covered with a massive red censored warning. Also, players are warned of nudity and sexual actions when you fire up the game, but here's the thing, that same screen also tells you how to remove all the censorship by finding a patch for the game online. Developer Man Behind, seriously, also clarified that Billy was indeed not underage. A couple of things here that I want to point out is that Man Behind is an awesome name for a developer that produces. You kind of have to have like a sex pun <laughs> you know, name That's awesome. if you're making these kind of games, I guess. Uh, and uh, secondly, that workaround. Purpose the game with censorship on that screen. It says, just, just go and download our titty patch yeah. and you're good. Well, that's the main thing about this for me. This is what I find so interesting about this because Valve uh, have, a, have a no pornography policy on Steam. So you're not allowed to have pornographic games on Steam. Fine, okay, fine, that is fine. Just take that as, as, a, as their principle, okay? That's okay. However, they're not even enforcing that in like an even way because this game, they took it down for two weeks. They've put it back on with a censored, massive censored thing on top of it. And a very obvious, if you want the nude version, here's where you get the patch online. You can have that nudity pornographic experience if you want it. Valve have just kind of allowed that but they've, they've said no you're not allowed pornographic games so what what is it what is the what is their policy here i think maybe it's for shareholders and, and thing it's like a pr thing isn't it the content itself is sold on steam without the porn pornography yeah. then it's fine it's it's acceptable the fact that you can get it just like a couple of clicks away that's not steam's responsibility that's not yeah, that's like a buffer because, there exactly is. that's that's yeah. It's, it's kind of like they're allowing it, but they're not technically yeah. responsible. And it's also the fact that the Steam users uh, are openly saying, I didn't buy this for the story and the puzzles. I bought this for the boobs. Where have my boobs gone? Give me my boobs. <laughs> I say all the time. <laughs> so they're openly saying that this is why they bought the game and this is why they want it. And yet, yet Valve is allowing it for sale now. Although they're kind of officially saying, oh, this is wrong, but we'll allow it. And uh, you, it's on the Steam and there's a way for you to get the boobs if you want the boobs. It's ridiculous. I agree, Mike. I agree. And when it comes to games like hor with horrific violence in it, you think of Mortal Kombat, you're like ripping people's spines up, like that gratuitous violence. It's just there because it's yeah. violence. It's, it's fun. That's fine. When it comes to a nipple, it's like, no, yeah. you can't have a nipple. It's it's like a hard border between <laughs> between like, oh, yeah, you can cut people in half. You can do whatever you want to, to people as long as you're killing them but if you're having sex with them 
basically get out. It's uh, something that I just think needs to, to be looked at by Valve seriously. If they want to ban pornographic games, just ban all of them for starters. Be consistent. Don't just ban the really popular ones that, that get attention. Do it properly. Don't ban them, then let them back on in a different form and let them go elsewhere to get the patch. If you've got a principle and a policy, you need to enforce it, otherwise you're just a joke. What happens if you have sex with them so much that their spine rips out? That's all right, that I think. Okay? That's, that's, that's okay. Fine. I think that is a fatality, actually. Yeah. Death. Yes. Get around, innit? Come to death. <laughs> My solution for this would be have a, like a different area on Steam. So like a red like a area. The top shelf. The top shelf. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah. Where you've got a sign, you've got to certify that you are overage and you, you know, yeah. you're you able to get this stuff. And don't put it on display for the general user. Just have it once you've certified that you're overage and you're old enough, like 21 and over or whatever. Everyone can get their porn, porn games if they want their porn games, their titty patches, you know, can be all all there for them. I feel that's a happy medium, just just be a bit more clever about it, Steam. Games companies can be massive hypocrites when it comes to this stuff as well. Final Fantasy 15 features some of the most sexualized characters you'll see in the game. There's literally a city in which all the car mechanics and industrial workers are attractive women, wearing the most impractical overalls you've ever seen. And look at this, this is one of the first characters you meet. Fine. Awesome. She's a nice enough girl. Even the main protagonists, which are all male, are varying degrees of topless. So don't be too surprised at the idea that some people might want to take their clothes off. Free the nipple, isn't it? Free the nipple. Final Fantasy XV is coming to PC, but game director Hajime Tabata is worried that some mods might go too far on the nudity front. He's even warned, if things are taken a little too far, it might affect modding for future Final Fantasy games. So, if there's anything we can say, it's try to be as controlled as possible, he said. This is the more interesting thing of this for me, because they've designed a whole cast of characters, a whole world of attractive people, yeah? And then they're getting high, like on their high horse about the idea of people taking those people's clothes off. Like that character Cindy that we showed you earlier, that's like one of the first characters you meet in the game. She's clearly designed to be like as hot as possible and stuff, and they just literally shove it in your face with like camera angles that you know what I mean but then if you if you take her clothes off then that's upsetting to them because they've gone as far as they're willing to go with that character and then said hey listen guys this is you just respect Cindy okay give her some flipping dignity and let her wear those hot pants don't you dare take those hot pants off her and they're saying because the, the cast of, of main characters are all male that the, there won't be as many nudity mods for this they're allowing people to get excited but you know yeah, keep, up it to a point. Yeah. keep it in your pants guys I, I think it's weird where they're obviously expecting um, these mods to come out but they're allowed a certain amount apparently yeah. because if you take it too far that's where the line is like <laughs> yeah. not too many mods yeah. just a few mods but if you take this taken too far exactly. well, you know you won't be Able to mod our games in future. It's kind of a threat there yeah, as well, isn't it? So. How many tits are we allowed? Like, I mean, are we allowed five tits, ten tits? I, I don't like five tits. Would be I don't like odd. The... Really. <laughs> five <laughs> tits. Have you seen like Total Recall? Like three. Uh, yeah. See, you there could is. have. That's the answer. Yeah. I don't like that they, they've said you can go this far with it. All right, we are we are giving you all of these uh, sexy characters. <laughs> you can go this far. Right? When you said shiv in the face before, <laughs> I lost it. Anyway. It is important to note that um, we might get monetization taken off us for this yeah. this video because we're talking about tits, but um, you know. Worth it, well worth it. All be better reasons to be a patron, that's all I say. Support this journalism, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Support our tit fetishes. You know what paid for these tit talks, but... I've just seen like Ted talks, but the Ted is... <laughs> Tit. 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 What if I tell you about the way you've been thinking about tits this whole time? is all wrong. That's a good idea, I should be taking notes. <laughs> Tits, we all love them, but do we need them in our games? I obviously know what I think, let us know what you think down in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new around here, check out another one of our videos around by here. Support us on Patreon if you're awesome, and we'll see you again in the next video. Until then, bye for now.